All right, maybe this will help someone out. This has been quite a process, but I figured it out. 12 years later, I have an Innovate LC1 here in my Silverado. And as you can see, there's all the lovely wiring. There's my own off switch. So, to get the serial connection working on Logworks so that you can plug it into HP tuners uh, for tuning. Um, what I did is I bought a, this is an RS-232 USB cord. Let's see if I can get some light. USB cord to 2.5 millimeters. That's plugged into the out of the LC1. Um, you do need the plug um, for the in. It should just let's see if I can find it somewhere oh down there you can see the plug there it is it's just a blank so this cable off Amazon I'll send the picture um, it had the receive and transmit wires flipped so what that means is that um, the receive was connected to the transmit on the innovate and the transmit was connected to the receive so they were flipped um, what I did is cut the cable um, on the LC1 the tip is the transmit the middle band is the receive and the top is the ground so I used a multimeter. The green is the ground top. Okay. And then that leaves the other two, the red and white wire, which I flipped. Initially, when I plugged this in, I was getting an error that said no active readings. Um, so I went inside, I flipped the receive and transmit, and voila. It works great. Hopefully that helps someone. And also, um, on this particular adapter, you do need to find the drivers. It shows up as a CP2102, I think, when it shows up as an unknown device. And I googled that, and there's a company, Silicon Labs, that provides the drivers download that driver package to downloads unzip it and you'll see the drivers are in here you just right click on it update drivers like this folder it'll install the drivers so seems to be working great